Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today I gotta talk about the fact that it's a lot of you guys who are gonna ruin your chances of ever making it if you don't get out of this mentality. Yeah. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a Kanye clip that goes along with what I'm saying that you'll probably be interested to see. Stop complaining about other rappers, other artists, musicians, why this person shouldn't be making it, why this person is better than that person. It does zero to help you. If anything, it only makes you look worse if you think about somebody who's had success like Pat Poos or Wale. Although I've loved these guys' music in the past, they've made themselves unendearing to their people who are already fans by just spending so much time complaining as opposed to being grateful for their already winning spots. But fuck that. That's some surface level shit. I'm actually going to tell you why it actually makes no sense that people spend time complaining about other rappers, artists, etc. Using rap People don't want to hear about anything but the booty and sex and the drugs and the... Bruh, it's not true. Conscious rappers have been winning for a long time. Abstract rappers have been winning for a long time. There's so many facets. And if you look at the results, they all can win, especially today, there's no excuse. Just because commercially, one gets pushed more than the other, and you might spend time around people who don't appreciate anything but the other, it doesn't mean that there aren't people somewhere that exist that love other types of music. So you can't really say that when you have people like Common and Talib Kweli and Chance the Rapper and Hopson and so many other people who have won big without really spending time on those types of subjects. Even if it didn't exist or wasn't currently commercially popular, then just do like Kanye West, the biggest artist on earth who made the backpack conscious thing popular. Go back and listen to everything Kanye says about things he's done. He's very, very intentional about knowing and remembering that he came from the conscious hip hop rapper backpack society. It's not really a society like formal group, but you know what I mean. And let's just say this is number two, but most people consider real music the music that they like. It's fine to love the music that you like, but you can't say just because someone else has a certain type of music that they do, that is not real music. If you want to get real, hip hop started completely as party music. It wasn't this whole conscious thing. It wasn't even about gangs. All that stuff came later. It started when people had get togethers and then got into the DJ and then the rapping started with the MC, all that kind of stuff. But it's there. Go see it. But just in case you don't have your time to do some for real, for real research, here's a short little cheat sheet note. What's one of the oldest popular hip hop songs? The hip, the hop, the hip, it, the hip, it, the hip, hip hop. You don't stop your rocket to. Ain't nobody life getting saved off that song. Ain't no struggle in them tunes. Get away from the real music mentality. None of us are the final authority on what is real, good, bad, any of that stuff. You like what you like, you stick in whatever lane you feel you want to be in and keep going from there. Music is not a zero sum game. Think about the fact that if there's somebody that's really popping and you hate them for whatever reason you feel like it's not real music, are they taken away from your success? Not at all. Maybe their fans, it sounds like, wouldn't even be your fans. So them winning is not keeping you down. The only thing that's keeping you down is the fact that you can't realize that them winning has nothing to do with the fact that you can win. I don't want to hear them excuse. The game is hard enough without fake obstacles. Don't make shit harder on yourself, cuz. I remember Will Smith saying that he goes heads down and he's running, he's running, and every once in a while he looks up and sees where he is. You know what that is? That's focus. He's not worried about what other people are doing. He's running as fast as he can, getting what he can done, and then he stops and really sees what other people are doing. And the way I think about that, just for success in general, but particularly in music, since that's what we're talking about, is you got the game, and there's a lot of people who are moving and shaking, then you got the bench, and then you got the crowd. Now, this doesn't mean that it's not okay to ever look at other people and see what they're up to, but when I talk about artists, what am I talking about? I talk about how they're doing what they're doing. So if you see somebody, and even if you don't rock with what they're actually producing as a product, but maybe you might see, why is this person winning? You study that, and that's the only kind of information I put up. Why, how people do what they do, why they are winning. But that's all that should be, matter to you. That right there is called doing your homework. Because I think about being in the game, being on the bench, or being in the crowd. If you're in the game, that means you're moving, shaking, you're producing, you're making the moves that you're making, all of y'all should be spending most of your time there or trying to figure it out. But then if you're on the bench, you can spend a lot of time there because you're just watching the game and you're 
studying what's going on for when you get back in the game. That's how you should be looking at other artists. If you're wasting time talking about who sucks and who doesn't, that's what people in the crowd do. You don't have time for that. Worry about yourself and your own success. Low key, this is why a lot of the rappers who are more street life driven are winning. Especially the ones who are for real, for real from the streets. Why? Because they're conditioned to only pay attention to themselves. When you're in the streets, especially if you want to survive and thrive, you don't really have time to spend time hating. You have time only to see what the next move is because you got to get things popping. You don't have time for all that other stuff. And if you listen to some of these interviews by like a 21 Savage or just some of these other artists who are for real from that, and they get questions asked by these interviewers, they'd be like, well, I don't really know about that. I don't really know about that. I don't even, even when Young Thug was asked about black rights and all that kind of stuff. What do you think needs to be changed in the way that black men are policed in America? Leave that up with the critics and the laws and all that old shit. We having fun, we iced out, we having money. That's how we doing it. I know that's a little extreme. You might want to care about your race and all that kind of stuff. But the fact is, they're only paying attention to what moves them forward. Anybody outside their world, they're not really concerned with it because it doesn't affect them. And so many of them are focused on money. But the things you have to do to get money is actually entertain, actually engage, create a fan base. So in a weird, twisted way, oftentimes they're actually focused on the right things to have a better music career than a lot of the artists who are just saying, hey, this is my art. Because not everybody, but a lot of people get distracted by my art's better than yours and my art's awesome world come to me when it's always about the people as self-centered as people try to make Kanye seem he's always talking about the people what he wants to do for the people get out of the audience quick spectating at least be on the bench some of you guys are in the nosebleed section because you spend that much time worried about why someone else shouldn't be winning. So if this might be you in any kind of way, just be aware of it so you can focus on the right thing. And as I promise, I'm gonna end with a clip of Kanye saying something relevant to this conversation, particularly the whole real music. So please share this if you think other people would be interested and hit that subscribe button. As an artist, that's what I would wanna drop, something that mm -hmm. mix syncopation and rhythm with melody mm -hmm. and was innovative you know what i'm saying so it's like but a lot of people what happens especially with a lot of the hip-hop artists that get into the box of like this was the real hip-hop at this time and blah 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 and, all, and mm -hmm. we trying to save it and then all they raps be about how they trying to save hip-hop and stuff instead of just making good songs and stuff because mm -hmm. they just get caught into it's like that one it's like a 35 to like 45 categories, 35 mm -hmm. year olds and 45, and a lot of them get into that thing was like, I can't stand it no mm -hmm. more. Tribe was the last real one. Yeah, I feel like, is he talking about us, bro? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's like, Soldier Boy, oh man, that ain't hip. And I was like, how is Soldier Boy not hip hop? He making beats, 808 type beats, mm -hmm. Rick Rubin style. Dances, how many hip hop? That's what hip hop was. We brought all these dances table. You would never see nobody get up and dance like Big Daddy Kane or something like that. You know, people.